Hey, this is Rick Casalage, injury specialist from criticalbench.com. In this video, I wanted to go through a you know, simple self-test, so something that you can do to see if you have forward head posture. Now, the odds are 90% likely that you end up having forward head posture because that's what the research shows that 90% of people out there have forward head posture and the cause of forward head posture is cellular phone use, so if you do a lot of texting, if you do any uh, watching of movies or TV on the tablet, if you sit lots, if you work on the computer, all of those things end up promoting and leading to forward head posture. And having forward head posture can affect you in uh, numerous ways. Neck pain, jaw pain, mid-back pain, it can affect your breathing, it can affect how your clarity, your confidence, it can make you look fatter, it can make you shorter. There's numerous things that forward head posture you know, can, can cause or lead to. So if you do have it, this little test will end up showing you that and then I'll let you know how you can fix your forward head posture. Now, there ends up being two little things that I recommend when it comes to seeing like a self-test when it comes to you seeing if you have forward head posture. The first thing is to check the muscles in your neck to see if they're tight. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fingers, these two fingers here, and you're going to put them in the, in the back of your, and we'll go like, like this, get like this. Yeah, they don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so it is so you end up feeling tightness. So that is kind of like, yeah, there's a good chance that you end up having forward head posture. Other place that you would end up looking at is right here, sternocleidoid mastoid, this meaty muscle. And you would kind of palpate and see if you feel any tension or, or no tension in that area. If you feel tension, that's kind of a sign, yes. Other things are if you look back here and you feel a bump, a fatty bump, or a bony bump there, right here, that's another sign that you could have forward head posture. Now, the last way of kind of confirming thing is to look at yourself on the side here. And you might not be able to see it, so what I recommend people to do is, you know, take a, get someone to take a picture with your phone or your tablet, so they can, you can see your head, shoulders, and hips. And what you're looking for is things to be in a nice straight line. So what you're looking for is your earlobe to be in line with your shoulder joint. So right here, I want it to be in a nice line. If it's forward, if your earlobe is, is ahead of your shoulder, then it's a good sign you end up having forward head posture. And then if we look down here at your hip, if it's forward from your hip, it's another sign that you end up having forward hip posture. So there you go. So you'd end up looking at those different things when it comes to if you have forward head posture. So if you end up having tension in the upper traps here, if you feel tension, it's a good sign. If you end up having tension through here, another good sign. If you see a, a bony, fatty bump in the back of your neck, that's a good sign. And then looking at, at, at your side to see if your head is forward compared to your shoulders and your hips. That's the last one. So if you have any of those, it's a good chance that you have forward head posture and it's important for you to do something about it. Just like I said, if you have it, it can end up having all kinds of negative effects on your body when it comes to pain, health, performance, and sleep. So you definitely want to make sure uh, you, you deal with it and fix it.